Hi girls and boys, it's me, Miss Booksy, and this is Storytime at Cool School. Are you ready for chapter three of the Snow Queen? I sure am. At the end of chapter two, Gerda was on her way to find her friend Kay, who had been taken by the Snow Queen, a lady who did not sound nice at all. Let's see what happens next. Gerda marched through the icy forest on her search for Kay. Then she remembered a safety rule her scout leader had taught her. When in doubt, shout. <laughs> Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay? Who are you? Who are you? I was taking a nap and you woke me up. So I'll ask the questions. Who are you? I'm Gerda P. Hobsworth, Girl Scout Ambassador and President of my school's Botany Club. Very impressive. I'm Lady Shannon Von Sol, Sorceress of Eternal Summer. It doesn't look or feel like Eternal Summer around here. Oh, well, not here, obviously. Come see. Sorry about all that shouting. I'm looking for my friend Kay. Word on the street is he went towards the Snow Queen's palace. Oh, she's a brat. Maybe even evil. Here we are. Still not getting any summer vibes. <laughs> Awesome! It's like paradise in here. It looks just like Florida. That's where I'm from. <laughs> it's always like summer there. Wonderful. Then you'll feel right at home here. Well, I can't stay. I have to go find Kay. But maybe we'll stop by on our way home? Oh, just stay for a bit. I have popsicles. Hmm, I love popsicles, but no thank you. I really have to go. Suit yourself. Okay, so how do I get out? Gerda looked around but couldn't see the door anywhere. She hadn't been there long. How could she have already gotten lost? Everywhere I look, there's just more palm trees. They're everywhere. Oh, and where did that sorceress lady go? Owie, oh, darn coconut. Oh, oh, actually, now that I'm sitting, I realize I'm pretty tired. Ooh. You know, I think I'll just take sleep a little and just, uh, then I'll go find Kay. Gerda drifted off to sleep and found herself in a crazy dream. She had found Kay, except he was different. He was a prince. Wow, hey Kay. But Kay ignored her. Kay, I came to rescue you. Suddenly a beautiful woman appeared. She was dressed head to toe in white silk and sparkly crystals. Wow, you're really shiny. <laughs> She bent to give Gerda a kiss on the top of her head. Wow, just like my grandma does. But when the woman in white kissed her, Gerda's hair turned to ice. Okay, not like my grandma. Then Gerda realized she was becoming completely frozen. Kay, help. But Kay looked on as if he didn't even hear her. Kay. <gasps> Scary, I hope Kay hasn't become frozen. Okay, I had my nap, now I gotta go. But Gerda realized she still didn't know the way out of eternal summer. Where is Lady Shannon Von Sol? Hello? Hello, lady. It's like she tried to trap me in here. Wait a second. Doesn't sorceress really just mean witch? Oh, no. She's a witch. Not necessarily. Oh? Sorcery is just magic. So technically, there could be a nice sorceress. Oh, OK. But she isn't. Lady Shannon Von Sol isn't nice? She won't let me leave. I'm a prisoner. At night, I sleep in a cage. Well, it's really cold outside. I don't think a toucan can survive out there. I bet a toucan can too survive out there. Just wait till she puts you in a cage. Why would she want to put me in a cage? She's obsessed with summer and sunshine. You're from Florida, so you're like the most summery, sunshiny creature she's ever seen. Trust me, you gotta get out of here. Okay, well, how about this? You show me the door, and I'll smuggle you out with me. Deal! So Gerda followed the toucan through the eternal summer paradise, past all the palm trees and coconuts. Here it is! Let's bust out! Do you have a coat? Do I have a coat? I'm a bird! What do you think? So sassy. Oh, I have an idea. Fly in here. And where do you think you're going? Uh-oh. Will the sorceress make Gerda stay in her eternal summer igloo forever? For eternity. Let's go find out in chapter four right now. 